into my studio today to make some more projects together for our monthly drop in art. So thank you so much to PCCA for taking us online so we can still make projects together even though we have to stay home. So today we are going to make this really cute magazine woven Easter basket. So I will show you everything you need to do to complete this project and then you'll have a home for some Easter eggs. So here is all the supplies that you'll need to get started project we are going to make a woven Easter basket out of magazines. So you will need some old magazine pages or newspapers if you don't have magazines. If you would like your newspaper to be more colorful you could go ahead and lay down a layer of crayon or paint over top of the newsprint and let that dry so you had some colorful pages to work with. You will need either a pair of scissors or a paper trimmer to cut your strips. You will need a ruler, a little tape, some school glue. I, a glue pen works great for this, but you can also use just um, straight out of the bottle. And you'll need your magazine pages torn out. And we are going to cut at least 20 two inch magazine strips, okay? And then you'll want to take your magazine strips and fold them in half lengthwise and press a nice crisp seam along the back edge. Then you'll open up your strip and press the outer edge in toward the center crease and do that for both sides. And then you will fold over those outer edges toward each other enclosing all of your raw edges to the inside. And this makes you a nice sturdy strip that we can weave. As I said, make yourself a nice big batch. And then we will tape down our ruler onto our desktop. And this is how we will get our measurement for how big we want our basket to be. So you can slime the little edges underneath of the ruler and this will also help hold them in place. And you can decide, I'm just gonna do six strips by six strips. That helps you to keep a nice little square basket and it's an easy way to keep track of how much you're working with. And just slide them underneath of your ruler or if you don't have a little ruler you could tape each piece down with some like lightly sticky tape washi is great for that or a little bit of masking tape just so you can peel them up later so once we have six strips stuck down then we need to choose six other strips that we're going to weave to make the center of our basket okay and then you just want to weave going over and under your pieces. And it'll be loose at first. It's okay if they wiggle around. You can go back and straighten them. It'll get easier as you work. And then you will do the opposite layer. So the opposite layer will go over and under. And you can see they're not terribly neat right now, but we can press them up together and get our measurements right as we work. So over, under, over, under. You've probably done projects like this before, but it's just practicing with that. And at some points you can also lift them and put a little dab of glue that can help hold them in place. But I like to weave them all a bit first. And then when I go back and try to straighten them up, I will add the glue to help hold them in place where I want. This way I don't have to worry about shifting everything around while I'm working weaving just kind of press them in toward each other and that will help tighten it up and then we will finish our weaving and balance everything out balance all of our ends out so that we have it nice and centered in the basket okay so I can see I have more lines more area at the top sticking out so I'm just going to kind of wiggle these up Till it's about even on both of my 
edges and make sure that my pieces are going as straight as possible. Once I have that straightened up, then I'm going to just straighten these edges and do the same thing. Just make sure about the even, an even amount is sticking out of either side. And that's not too crooked. And then I like to lift them up just slightly and put a little dot of glue underneath a few of the places where they overlap. And you'll have some small gaps in between your pieces and that's great. That looks just like a woven basket. It's especially helpful if you put it on the ends because that helps keep it from wiggling out. And then you'll want to set this aside to dry for a little while. But through the magic of video, I have already created one. So this will be your base and it will look like this and you'll just want to set that to dry. Maybe sit something heavy on top to weigh the glue down so that it all sticks together, okay? After your base is dry, you'll want to come back and then fold up and press in all of the little edging pieces so they stand up and make the upright part of our basket. So you'll just work your way around folding them in toward the center so that they stand up away from the bottom and this will create, start to create our sides. So we'll do this the whole way around for all of the pieces just using the, uh, the outermost piece to help you decide where to crease. Okay. So you just work all the way around. And then I have one that I have already started. And you can see all of the pieces. And then you'll just want to start <laughs> with weaving again, going around the uprights of your basket. And I like to use little clips to help hold them in place as I work because this time you definitely do want to add glue. Okay, and then whenever you get to a point where they overlap, you'll just want to take one little tail and fold it over and keep it going so that it connects into the next layer. And then you can cut that extra bit off. So I'm just gonna bring it till it overlaps here with this one. Tuck it down. Use a clip to help hold it in place. And then I'm gonna cut this extra tail off in line with one of the uprights. So we don't need that piece. So to start weaving, you'll want to pick a different point and I'm going to go over, I'm going to choose a place where it can go under. So here I have one where it's going over on the outside and I want to come under for the next row up. So I'm gonna add a dot of glue there to get that started. I'm gonna put a clip on it to hold it in place while I work. And then I'm just going to go and weave again over and under, this time around the uprights, stopping to put a little dot of glue every few uprights and clipping them to help hold it in place. When you get to a corner, you'll simply put another crease to help bend your paper. And again, I'm going to add a little dot of glue there and a clip to hold it in place and then work my way around. So this one, oh, I think I messed up on that one, so. I'm going to make that one go over. It's not an exact science. It's just a magazine woven basket. You know, I would say, let's not be too precious about it. We want it to be nice, but it's certainly nothing to add stress to our day, right? So we're just going to keep going around and around, weaving through, over and under, over and under, over and under push it down 
for the next one and add a couple of dots of glue. And clips that help hold everything in place. When you get to a corner, don't forget to crease and bend around your corner. When you get to an end, just simply pick a new one and glue them together and clip them in place and keep going. Now when we get to the end, we just want to take our little top pieces and fold them down. When you get about a row from the top, you want to fold them in. Or if you have your basket as high as you want, just fold those down toward the center and glue those in place. Let it dry. And there you have your finished woven basket all ready for some Easter eggs. So you would just want to add a little bit of shredded grass or some fun tissue paper to create a little nest and add your eggs. And there you have a great little recycled paper magazine Easter basket. Happy Easter. Stay creative, friends. Thanks. Bye.